a bit of an A split. Going straight into John QD setup. And John QT just crouched behind this one. Still flash. Molly coming through. Trip as well. And the counter play in oh. order. There it is. The trip kill. Him. Trip kill. Never seen that one before, at least on the big stage. Here it is, though. It's slowed down Gen G to a crawl. Lakia in through the back of the site, though, and there's the response, the return of firepower. Zelsis left to pick up those pieces, but already a site has been gained and granted. Shot dart kills. Two versus two. White, now the dart finally ready, clearing it. At least onto one position here, but time's starting to work and tick against them a face from all of them. On top now, Sassy versus Lakia. And they're all players against one another. It's Lakia. Who cleans it up for the pistol? Jump up, Zekin. Yeah, he's pushed up deep here. Not too much to support him, not too much to trade him, but he sees it, hears it, and there's the kill. Collected onto Munchkin, but it's offset. Dart, potential there to set that one up, but finally a few shots fired and rattle. Texture's been creeping and crawling up onto the angle. Finally, Dan releases it. The trigger straight to the dome there. Sassy, dropping into the back of the site. Two left standing here for Sentinels. Disadvantage position. Got to watch that one though. ADS second. And that's eight seconds left. A round winning play perhaps, but now a safe plan position for Meteor. Tucked right behind the pillar. We'll be able to get the extension into the round, but can he survive the one v two? Already through and second. Nasty work there. He's choosing to face it. TP with a gate crash, not going to be baited out from that one. Still, Lack is also getting a move on through Halls. Could be that late look play in that position. Meteor could be cleaned up there with the trade still. A tap. No one forced out wide. Lackier though, gaining that kill and closing the door in front of him. Neural theft. Given the info. Texture. Now the emphasis placed on him. A dash to the side here, but a pull on line, not half. Onto the spike. Could be a big difference maker. Could be a massive one, in fact. Genji have got them surrounded on almost every single front right now, picking them standing. apart, the threads unraveling. Leave it to just John QT, but again, the time ticking away. And it's just far too late for it. Genji, themselves up nice and easy onto that third. Smoke's online. That pit did not cover the spike. Oh, and a lot of respect as well being showcased as well to a weaker buy of Sentinels, but second. See what damage he can do here. Still with the rifle in his hand. They found the first one, but again, a lot to get through. Murky territory, a blight onto the B site with that pit, but 
They really wrangled control of this one. They found Charon, but again, Munchkin is the player that needs to fall to really stand a chance into this one. Yes, it doesn't cover it. Texture alive and kicking, working his way around, but he's been found. Sassy drops him. And one player left to stand is Lakia, crouched, cowering, fear in his heart. He cannot face them. A thrifty win for Sentinels. The info he's looking for. Possibly seeing multiple targets. Now the Hunter's Fury of his own. That is going to be left rip. And look at the targets! They just cleave right through them. What a perfect counter to what Genji were going for. I have a feeling that Genji don't know that this is online. Broken reveal onto multitudes of targets. Again, this all causing issues, and it is too much to overcome, too much to clear. Alts are being rattled off here. Texture from the high ground, eventually traded, and now the flash, pop flash, round the corner, tens. It was all dodge meteor! Massive play! Second sticking inside the cage! Broken! Destroyed and dropped. Genji finding that fifth, but you're right, Josh. Not drift his way through. He'll be able to clear out most of this side as well. Basically, the human drone just spotting out these trips. Kill trip. Lucky. Oh. Wait a second. John QT is there onto the angle in time. Gets the punish onto Lakia. Aaron. A chance really for him to clean up, but no, the cross set placement just wasn't expecting that one. That they're in a really advantage situation. Yeah, definitely. They're realizing the fact that Karen and Munchkin are going to be playing in very passive positions. They oh. found them both. They even isolate Munchkin, who's so oh. far away. Oh. Set them up in a great situation to win the round. No chance of playing the lineups anymore for Munchkin Meteor. Texture have to go absolutely massive, but the instantaneous there with the trade and shut down in time. So the Sentinels broken second. Sassy using it. They didn't miss second. Hello, spots it. Up in the air. It's all about the reactions. Follow through there. Just a clone, but a shorty. Defending the area and teammates flooding back in. All to his avail. Munchkin, though, has managed to get himself a gap into the A side. Regain down into mid for Sen, but they. Keep their eye on almost every single angle here. And guess what? Plenty of backs facing away from them. Caron, it's majestic. And just like that, turned away, ripped away. What should have been a slam dunk, Sen. Left looking in every possible direction, barely able to get it. But they do in the end. Budge snared into space. Else is hearing that one broken. Now wants to take the fight to him. Out wide onto the wall here, Caron. He's worked and wiggled his Trapped way the into the back of the side again. Left. Back to a reload. Oh my. Seven seconds left with the spike drop down. Sentinel surely a favorite. And yes, indeed they are. No chances here in the final round of this first half. Not for Munchkin. So maybe. Bloomed and blossomed. Can start to get a move on onto the A side still. It's Caron. Locked down into the corner position. Guess what? Zekin punishing the rotation. And three heads roll. Down and out here. Caron blinded as anything. Cannot win his fight out. Zekin. The chanting for it. Ten spots him. Munchkin spotted. Ow. Wow. <laughs> Denied. But that is the first pistol. Tuck toes. Okay going to be able to play anti towards that one and everybody playing inside this cloud first not expecting him he pounces up already just locks that one down these sentinel players are left scrambling and wondering exactly where these players are coming from texture now with the dash smoke to play in four tens here but how do you really overcome this you just can't it's just raw mechanical prowess on display position and they need to make sure that they have info in that area of the map meteor going for an info peak when they're up 5v4, everybody's got their backs turned to every possible position. Texture, though, seems to be more aware of it than he is. Shuts down. John QT, Sassy out in the open. Done into the back of the side, and it is traded and cleaned up by 10 still. Only two to the left stand here for Sentinels. All of Main wants more. He can play this post plant from this position still. Smokes are available. Black, at least Caron puts that one up, but a kill found still. It's down to just 10s. He's got to do it all. Does have a nade, but still he's got to deal with this. And what a play to make. Texture, so damn aware, but there's the shot still. Will the nade land in time? Black is sticking. Half spam damage. He's just about got it. Unbelievable from 10s. To the camp for Gen G, wondering. Where the hell are these players landing with only 40 seconds left? Time could start to become a problem, but Texture, he was the real danger in this round, at least with those knives, and with him shut down, now it opens wide of Munchkin. Immediately there, no command sent. Flying Bucky Gaming! Lakia dropping 10 straight down to it. Removes him from the fight, A main control. Granted and gained, tucks it up and doubles up. Now with the drone over and attempt to punish Caron. Running and gunning. Celsius time. 12 seconds left. He needs to find this kill, but a rifle has been handed over, and so is the spike. John QT, head on a swivel. Too much to deal with, too much to overcome. 
and surrounded, man. Surrounded. No angle. Can they cause a distraction in B main that pushes people into Zekken's crosshair? Oh, Zekken. It's all about the reactions, but Texture, of course, is favored. On LAN, already in position. It was all on Zekken. Telsis seeking to just sow that chaos and discord into the map, at least with the pit laid down. Genji. I feel it really imperative to try and clear this one, but they're already just losing players. Sentinels, left. seconds, time, working against them again. Lackier to left. play to do the most. Spoiler, there it is. Bradley spraying them through with five seconds down. No chance of sticking. I don't believe there's any time. And even if there was, Lackier could have absolutely sealed it up anyway. Beautiful work from Gen G. Deep knife. Cage to cover their cross as well, looking to try and split themselves into B. Now there are players here, great dash forwards with that flash. It's all combined and calculated. Munchkin lays it down now he with a pit. Dropping down in this position, he's already found Celsius. Where's the follow-up? Where's the follow-through? It's not there! Keron, the support of you till the smoke to just prop it up and divide up. Texture. Stray shot fired here, potentially just catching a glimpse. Opens wide again, John QT, that was his only chance, but... There goes the op. Is there, op down, still 18 left, and they have to deal with Munchkin. Smoke down, grabs and out, oh, dash forwards, but Munchkin again, they weren't expecting it right from behind. It's the IGL Oasis. Of your minds, John QT, it's all about the corners being cleared, and guess what, doesn't look like he wants to open himself He's up to it. He's not thinking about it. Not thinking about it at all. Lackier punishment is there in place over the top with the knives, dodging, dashing, and away. But one blade left. The second needs that rejuvenation. He's got it, but instantly again. Caron, the trade is there. Fundamentals off the bloody chart for Gen G. And this is it, surely, with the map pushed into the positions. Already there. Clone reveal the position. Flash through into the box. Sassy's out wide and alone. Scared for his life, too much to deal with, too much to deal with in D. Gen G lead the charge here in our grand finals of Madrid, taking map one. Very clear focus. Gen G looking to fight over Shower's control. That's Hello. where Tens and Zekin both are. They are rapid onto the corner here. White face, three players though. Left to fight them. Tens hightailing it out of there. Back down. They realize Showers is open. The reposition now into the back of the side. Dizzy up and away. Broken in place, Sassy, good kill, wingman with the swing, they are absolutely running over these Gen.G players. It was the fast TP and a wrap around, shut down, Sentinel, a pistol round gained. Now seriously at this bonus round, is a call being made fast, look at that Stimmy Tens following it through all the way into Lamps, stunned up, there was that connection and they are just running and gunning. Karen didn't stand a chance, a second go of things now. Dizzy, there's some value, blinded up but at least Lackier can stand his ground, rooted into place with 40 seconds left. Time. Not too much of a problem just yet, as long as they do slow it down and pick off these remaining players around. Sassy, back at the site, Ghost winning it, but now just facing all together. 30 seconds. Zeki. Zekin has a nade. Is he going to be able to get into position to deny this? Open himself super wide, but he just takes the risk. He actually just goes for the wider swing, and Lackier, yes, he does go down. Straight bit of damage, 140 to the chest and texture. Back at the site, not accounted for. They just out wide and open. If this wall goes down, they should know the timing for it, but it's going down. Flash through and out. There it is. Meteor falls, deleted. Lackier. How has he done that? Away. I'm not too sure. Jumping up and hopping up. That was a trailblazer kill. I just saw Philip to this side. Here it is. Munchkin has a snake fight. We'll send it flying. That's just to block off that CT exit and entrance. Still the face. And the fight is called Munchkin. A lot more left to do now here with only a few seconds left. Removes the seeker. It was pesky in his face. A bit of a problem. But again, time against him. And with the spike in the middle of nowhere. No time. Clear wing cons. Acknowledged there. Zelsis. Yeah, he runs his way out. Three players that'll die to a double tap. Really just trying to min max as well. That money. Keep it flowing. Face now out wide. Munchkin. Great awareness and even better aim. That's three. Drop down red, filling up the feed. Sassy. Yeah, of course he returned the fire, but guns being reclaimed out in the open. No chance left here. So Gen G, all but certain now, going to be that third round. John happy to do a bit of that damage, but yeah, guess what? Meteor. He's not letting him get away with that. <laughs> Punishing the gun pick. Now here on bind. Nade off the Dizzy's contact and a fight as well, out into the open. That's the one who's going to be coming up on top. Seekers here, out. This is a little bit of chaos now. Strone really into the mix here with the orbital strike. It's done them wonders still. They do have to worry about that ult. And there it is. Sent flying out to the back of the site. Lackier, pop flash play. 
out and collected all sorts of kills and damage, but then wide face of Celsius, beautiful with the movement. He actually might be able to tap here and use the teleporter even, but he's looking to try to take the fight instead. Trying to make a play. Every angle needs to be watched for, and it is. What a round by Celsius. Yeah. Either going to be amazing or terrible for Sentinel. It's a thrash being held in the trailblazer. Here it is, sent flying, but it's no, it's a little bit late. It's the latest, the latest, the late second. Does he get out of the entertainment? Right on time, Charon. Oh, he's barely crawling away there. B side, and again, Sentinels running and following them fast on them, hot onto the heels inside the smoke. Meteor dominates the angle, dominates the space with his own neural theft down. Gen G stand a chance and more. The decision to be made, they fight into the back of the site, and it is going beautifully for them. I'm going to stop somebody from getting inside this smoke, and I'm going to get into it first. Too much to deal with here for Sentinels, surely. They'd have to just some absolute miracle shots, and they're already setting up and gearing up for it now. Out wide again, but guess what? Yeah, Meteor is too fast onto the approach. Inside the smokes, inside every possible option that could have been there for Sentinels. And Zekin, the only thing is focused on his mind is trying to get out with that gun, but even that is denied. They'd read the play and punish the reaction. Hiding inside the smoke, doubled up now. They want to flood back into this one, trying to catch that timing, and here it is. Doubled up high, low, Sentinels. This might be the right read for them, but Lakia is brute force and bowing through Sassy. So damn fancy. Might have brought them a window of clear through and out over the top. It's lifeless. Baron in nature, oh! but he snipes him anyway. Expected a position, Sentinels claiming the six. Of these retake situations, it all comes down to the minutia. These tiny little details flooding now. Front of the site, shots found and kills finally online. The, the defuse. Team and the defuse, Caron, half already. Has he bought them time enough for potentially for Genji here with two players left? Yeah. Lakia, the orb, at least there. Another kill, found and out and defended. You're joking. Where else is it going to be other than short? Now they're walking right into it, Caron, Caron. Too much util, the doctor's in clear, but he does break it anyway, kill trip. Lands a shot. Good adjustment in the end, but Tense does return that fire in our flash blind. You collect yourself and cool down your senses, enough for a potential pivot to a different area, but they've committed the smokes, and they want to know what his last play is that, texture. What is that? Pulling away, trip still not dealt with, lighting these players up, yet yeah, John QT is walking again into Munchkin. Never losing his ground here, always holding on to this space. And now Meteor doubled up cross set setup. This could be nasty. This could be brutal. Obliterated Genji. Just have such an immaculate read. Back immediately over towards A. So there's still three players defending this. But only 30 seconds roughly left here. Moshpit sent flying over the top now as well. Trying to take the space. It's only 10, and he's left alone to his own devices. Split up for the rest of his team here with only 25 seconds. That's a spike drop down on top of it. It needs to be heroics, and it needs to be masterful play at that Munchkin. Almost going down to the stray satchel, but it matters not. Overwhelming aggression from Gen G. Full lockdown in approach and play. And seconds dwindling down to nothing. Stack B. Second showstopper. Loose here. Was vulnerable, but up close to the corner. Does he clear? Lakia! Blinded! What? Yes. Found what? Snaps it! Sentinels. They found an advantage. B. With the players stacked, looking to re explore. Oh, man, look at this call to contact re clear. Are they going to be ready with the rifle play? It needs to be online. It is. Sentinels. Clean sweep there, out towards it. Forcing Genji out oh, to Salt. Yeah, it's not really going to be handled here at yeah. all. And that's going to be sending it out with Wingman. He's going to be broken. No, no, they it's just scaled it correctly, but it does catch on the second. So the plan is online. 4v4, though. A must win for Sentinels. Must win indeed. The flank. Fast wrap around. Flanks on. Flanks lack here. Punish for it. At least recognizing Sen, the weaknesses of their own compositions, but it's immediately answered and evened back out. Celsius got ult. So, advantage. Now for Gen. G here with the ult. That's the first tab, and he's waiting for the second point. Karen's fast onto him. Karen's fast onto him. Already approaching and expecting that position, and he just has to let it rip anyway before anybody even taps. Gen G so fast with the moves, yet Sentinels shut it down. Off of that, it's Hooker. But they didn't plant, though. They're still getting it down now, and Genji are taking elbow control in the meantime. It might work against them because it has cut off these angles, and the core made contact works out beautifully. Thrash through with the flash as well. On top of it, it comes down to how can they win these kills out? Second, as the Wrangler the Beast that is his rifle lit up like beacons, but it matters not. Sentinels. And what a call this is. Gets the hell out. 30 seconds. This is going to be a full committal. Straight into the moor. Out wide. They're not expecting it. Genji players holding their ground, rooted and snared into place, but they're willing to just fight tooth and nail. 
Spike dropped yeah. down, Molly's at the feet. Nobody can advance, nobody can step over the line. It's gonna have to be those shots, it's gonna have to be a firepower. But again, is it enough? Is it enough? It's not! Meteoric from Meteor himself. Layer it down, needs to be defended in time, but here's that showers fight. Molly dropped down. Genji walking, Genji walking, Genji walking, but losing the fight. Initially, it's up to Lakia. Hold it down and stand as well. The short players. Away, the short players, and Lakia comes up huge. I mean, they just know now with the camera, they spotted it all. And look at that, Keron sends it and splits them up. For OT, all the way here, Genji not going to be denied it at all. John QT dropping to the floor. It's just all hinging on this, isn't it? It's an off angle like that. I just don't see how Munchkin clears this. Yeah, an ADS. Spoils it for Munchkin here, tens. It's weird though, because they don't know where Genji are. They could be all the way up heaven, all it's sorts gonna, of spots. It's gonna cause the push out here by Sentinels, meeting them right into texture, but he wasn't waiting for it. As a trade One attempt for Keron, win. he will fall too. Everybody topples, Sentinels. Brent Munchkin's in a really committed position here at Hookah. I don't see how he dodges Boombot Dizzy. Here it is, oh. he's out. Why did he wait just haste to fight to him? No way. How? They're not content with just playing the numbers okay. advantage. He's willing to join them, but he has cut off that angle here with the Trailblazer. Not broken Weird. down, is he actually going to be stunned up? Bullets raining through TP. Cortex shot He's right there, fast there. Here's the reinforcements, here's the whole bloody team. He fires and guesses incorrectly. The gamble not paying off still. Not willing to give up that space, but finally here, Mazaus is out in the yeah. open still. The kill found 2v2, running and gunning to just retreat and cover that section. Now the defuse, Meteor sticking, sticking, sticking all the way. Spray down, half earned, but that will be it. Sentinels, even it up, one, two, one. And I said it was necessary. Armor oh, broken, here it is, the flurry and rush from the Sentinels players. They Celsius have to has really flash. back them up. He does have the flash. Paranoia goes wide and does not connect onto the necessary target. And that is second still with that dash, spraying away. Quite praying as well, it's all Sentinels. Good go of this if you are, Gen G. We have to take liberties. How's he got away with that then? Time? Four seconds, barely enough, but now broken in place. Second. Slaps him down with side here for Sentinels, but they do have the util. They have been clean with it in the past. Texture. Let's take the fight there, but caught out in the open. The paranoia tucked tight into these positions, being flooded and swarmed. Not enough with the bullets to spray the them down. Reflank. Attempt now. In through it. He spots it, but doesn't expect the second player. Still, Celsius not being able to stick that defuse. He can't even get second onto it. And the damage has been done to all of them. Sassy has to really stick this one and pray for his life. Not enough. Barely over the line here for Gen G. And they lose Lackier too. Paranoia. Now mid. Name of the game here for Gen G. Four players waiting. Zekin. Too much to account for here. Wow. Still gets out and still has a dash as well. In fact, Going to use it, yes, ops for it! Can't hit it with the readjustment there, still. Now he nails it! Body's hitting the wall. Texture though, he's so rapid. Look at this guy, he's all the way up into heaven, but he is going to be shut down in the end. John QT, good awareness from that one. It's about trying to keep up with the tempo. Can't let Gen G run all over you! Lackier, sole survivor. One shot left for Zekin. Shot that. Pushes him out. Great punish. Got a lot more to do. Wants to make a go of it. Lucky it has been astoundingly clutch, but he's not going to get anything this time. Celsius ah. shuts it down. Advantage retake. And they got an off. Very Five difficult. Planted. Nothing to write home about here. Now, Genji should really be in that advantage position. Yet texture goes down. Close quarters. Action for Meteor. Action indeed. But he does go down to the follow through, spray through of Sassy, anticipating it. The reflank now, just to reclear into mid, and now regrouping up here for Sentinels. Damage done, but so is still on the opposite side, Zekin. You respond with that one. Oh, need to deal with these players though. Anchoring tucked Last close cower and he's gone. Lackier. Hunter's Fury available. Indecisive though in terms of how he wants to play this one. Sassy's just sticking oh. this and it is watched. Get down, Mr. President. Sentinels. Just a tad here with the plant down. A potential difference making. Look at Lackier's position. Again, he's got that Hunter's Fury. He's gonna be waiting for the right time to strike. Same with Meteor. Takes up that space, but he was blind as anything. And John QT tags no kills though. Damage no. being done. The back side players they need to be dealt with. Off and through with the flash texture, putting them down side by side. Tens will follow through. Time has run out entirely. 
the numbers being bought here with all of these plays. Gen G barely pulling that one out from the jaws of defeat. He is online. There's a fast play though. Already setting up. The flash in hand alongside that dark texture might just be blinded fully. He's playing inside the smoke. He dominates it. Tends to be playing this one before, but with the Odin spam at least potentially evened out, but not quite. It's a great read. Celsius. I just walk and wade right into it. The crossfire of a century, and look at that, yeah, the call to three, two, one, peak, hit, down, tap, 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 second! Right back at you! Okay. It's gonna have to be reactions and adjustment potentially there. Still close to the corner. Jiggling from Lackia. Decides to take the timing and a fight right to him. Let's play, approach. Trying to slam into these anchoring players, but it's on them to try and hold their ground. Sentinels standing side by side here, but again, the weaponry just not ideal for the job. Now, texture. I think it's necessary to really clear through a lot of that. Hello, Karen spotted at an upgrade here for the anchoring players. Again, close, tucked two dice, but there's no trade and no swings. The anchoring players out back here with the Sheriff. John QT, but not, not expecting it away with the Bucky! Gaming! No! Can land the shots! Damage done to it! Ten set up! It's a 1v1! That's such an important one at that. The money was dire. Tens. Six bullets! Accounted for! Exactly what he needed. It's all about when you pick your time. It's a counter spam. Almost gone down potentially there with the damage down and out of here with the drone. Everybody lit up, but the shot goes wide and just goes a miss. Second though, back to B. Can't be making plays like this, man. But maybe just getting hectic in those final moments. TP engaged Meteor. He's lugged his way in. Damage done and another kill found. It's all being added up. Right click. Kills here. This is the kid. Right click. That's all incorrect. Oh, the body block. Oh, my God. Absolutely unbelievable. Tells this 1v2, 1v2, 1v2. Rushing entirely into it. Pause into the angle. Waiting now. What is the call from the rest of them? A flash play into the back here. But they're just waiting for the right time to strike. Potentially, but now jumping right. Leaping into his face. And there it is from Genji. Calling their bluff. They want to fight it. The front section of that side of paranoia is good. It's all no, not quite quite at all, we're waiting for it, now the knife takes away the abilities, takes away the threat of this one, and as the tower is getting broken, they swing right into it, Gen G, surely not, they're doing it again, wonderful, wonderful patience, scurrying away, trying to take control of A, but then there's a paranoia, goes flying, actually missing onto Sassy, no clear connection, but he still maintains control of A main control, yeah, Ten's caught, Sassy dropped as well. This is looking bonus like a monstrous round, bonus. Man. I mean, this is beautiful for Gen G. Send about an inch in this. And at least half as much as your opponents are over rotating. And so far, they're nowhere near. Texture seeking out to ruin them here with a flash. Okay, return of the fire. Second. Right back at you with the nades rebounding. Meteor dodging over and around. No way. Second was blind as anything, dashed forward to try and punish, but Meteor is tucked into this corner, and there should be that punish online. Karen, seeking to relieve it. Zelts has dropped down onto his knees. I mean, is there going to be any chance of even just a res to pull him back It's going to get punished. They need surely, to be aware. Surely picking him up. Zelts there, but no. Spamming through the wall, but no kill collected. John QT. What a play. Meteor cosplay in effect. This guy is how... I mean, found the gaps and more. And another one to the collection. Control and beating them. <laughs> I don't think Tens is going to survive this interaction. But oh, yes! Oh! <laughs> Never doubt him. <laughs> well, Munch can gather in that information. Has the need ready? Yes. Time runs short. John QT. Hello. Flash forwards on top of it here, but backing away will get cleaned up eventually. The air is sprayed down. Fragment, Nay, Texture, and Munchkin all combined. And they have shut down his approach. Tens with ultimate. It's going to try to get into the B site and get the plant it. down. Yeah, it's an open site for him. Still yeah. rapid. Sassy get there. Oh, Sassy. He's picked them apart. Texture is miles away. Reinforcements are lacking. Makia seeking to disjoint it. That dart, it was fantastic though. Still playing inside the smoke, Lackia shuts it down, but time has been bought. A tab, Sassy. Does he think it's open to the fuse? Spamming away, counter spam from Munchkin, sticking from Lackia. Full defensive setup. They're trying to fake A presence, perhaps? I mean, the spike is in the middle of nowhere. Certainly they are fast. It was Zekin, he's rapid on the uptake texture, even more so. 
the Hunter's Fury to punish. Alarmbar chasing them into the top section of mid. That's tense. He's got to try and get some value in. He's got to try and get some kills. The lockdown. lockdown it's really just absolutely brutalized them, slowed them to a crawl. They can't break it. They have to fight it. Tens here onto the angle again. They're swarming into the position and behind them. Texture. Rips them to shreds, rips them to pieces. Has to stick. And there's no chances, not anymore. Gen G up to 12. Four woods here, just showcasing. Oh, doesn't break it in time, so it actually spots both players, and they're already up through mid as well. Paranoid misses, texture. Clean shot, rips it away, and this is this. Dreams being dashed. Out and away, John QT, maybe a chance. Turn with the one kill, but it's still a player disadvantage, and they don't know where the rest of them are. Into the corner, hello, finding Lack here. Three versus three, Munchie going. Walk about, Celsius dropped dead to rights. 2v2, still spike in the open. And that control gained and gathered, Munchkin. Does he be given anything? He just doesn't expect them coming from spawn. No, there's no way you expect this, and this could be it. This should be it. The map done and dusted. Gen G, it's ever closer to that title, ever closer to that trophy. Tens, he can't get away with the kill. Okay, but Sen also realized that that's a bit of a fake. It's not everybody in that area. Second gets off the line for just a moment, and now he's going to be faced with an absolute onslaught. They rush his position and still walks away with two. Return of the fire. Sen, not leaving anything to chance. They want to try and funnel and rotate everybody towards him, but yet still, Gen G, the blade right into their hands. Enemy remaining. There's no hells. Side by side, looking to put a pistol round on the board. Sen are getting antsy here, though. John QT out wide, tens wide face. And definite chances, but Sentinels Necessary yeah, in their bonus round and fully grouped up this time. Nothing to chance, is it? Flash through, no connection with the orb dropping down. Well, not expecting it, but it does dash into the open. There is that follow up. Now the reaction. Gen G. We know that the economy's weak. Expecting the flood. Takes a spot in. Nade as well. He's stunned up entirely here. Sassy. So fast of it, second combining with that approach here out wide. Munchkin seeking to at least relieve that pressure and damage and offset that disadvantage. Top back up to a bit more health still. You've got to think Gen G, it all comes down to the way these fights get taken. Zekken from the side. Temple taken out of Charon inside the cage, dominating but cleaned up. Munchkin in the back, 1v1! No bullets, no chance! Munchkin with the sidearm saves the bloody day. The last time that these two teams faced off. This one, though, a 1-1-3. One, one, they pause, and now they make the play here with the Paranoid just a little bit too delayed. Rocket, up and over, up trap, saves him, but not from the bullets. Grenade. Your response from Lakia, realizing that Sen have overcommitted to the A ramp fight. He takes all of this space. He tells us it's not going to be expecting this, not going to be expecting this, what? What and a flick. still lands it. What a flick, what a turn. Snake bite, though. Yeah, look at this. They're looking to try to take the fight towards stairs while Munchkin plants. Has got a plan, he was trying to pit. Goes down entirely here. The trades online now for Sentinels. Obliterating any chance here for Charon. To even stand toe to toe, he'd have to hit those shots and he can't quite manage it. A supremely like better though. And now Texture looking like he wants to get put into the smoke or at least avoiding this flash. Texture's gonna get valued, they're not gonna clear him out as well. They topple and fall and they collide right into him. And that's more like what Gen G were up to previously. Sentinels re push out through B main. It's a good call to make here, but Sassy surely not favored into that one. And yeah, just backs away. Tens holding the angle for him, just over the shoulder. Our anchoring player, Zekken here. Oh my goodness, almost claiming that one. That was a dink. Drops him down to 10 HP. Meteor falling to the nade. Zekken still alive. Stack. Spike I mean, dropped. Where's, where's the win condition here? How do they get so this? Unlikely. It just looks so damn unlikely. Texture forward in this approach again, but there's no setup ready for it. The satchels to his doom and defeat. Everybody picked apart. Spike drop down. No kill onto Charon. To get this plant down, maybe potentially 10 push. Just, yeah, pushing, ending, putting a stop to it. But now just making sure Chenji have no opportunities to take this fight. And if they do, Sen tripled up. Looking to drop the wall and take the fight, the fight on their terms. They paranoia, the paranoia. Noise, the paranoia takes Ja and Meteor. They combine their might and Sentinels. No chance entirely. It's all gone wrong. Fight instead doubling up. It looks like central high low setup. Yeah, it is indeed with him playing up onto Heaven. Satchel forwards. Cuts up the angle. Flash repeat. No, not through main. Adjustment necessary. And second comes up with the goods and more.
with four ripped away. Just waiting for him, the nade should clear at least one layer of it. Smoke's now up with the paranoia through, and it's a call made to flow right back into it. The rocket damage done, but already texture right behind, snaps back second. Shuts down the adversary, shuts down the nemesis. But does he anticipate this? Yes, he does. Movement sublime. Hits your texture, knocked down to only 20 health. When that's combined with the Viper Wall. A few shots flying, nade rebounding, but not expecting Meteor here with the damage. Done! Kills, collected. All on top, and it's all added up as well for that Gen G advantage. Acknowledgement now, at least, that there's going to be players behind him, but Sassy feeling no real pressure, but now he's going to hear it. Jumping down into vents, they are just forcing the position and forcing the fight straight to them. Surely not favored into this one. 3v2, damage! And down, drop down to the players here. Single shot will do it. Texture survives. Spike, it's still in the hands of Sassy here, but he's got so much more to do. And does he hear the drop down? He does not. That's a crazy round from Texture towards the end. Hell damage to Hun Meteor. Dash to disengage our way. And Lackier, they're going to get caught here. Covering fire, you're right. They are getting caught in all sorts of positions with Karen falling. Second, creeping and crawling. Whoa. Texture, though, back at it again. It's not quite enough still. It's an overwhelming advantage now for I Sentinels. Know exactly where you are. I'm watching for this again. Texture caught. So much value out of this position over towards Vents. Again, feels like a hard read from Sentinels to me. Baiting them into fighting over A ramp yeah. and then just creeping up mid with the contact play. Especially inside the orb. Hello, Munchkin. As the dog now breaks it, we'll let loose that snake bite. So, covering the retreat, but at the same time, John QT here anticipating every single play. Getting two there is a job well done. Karen did return that fire, but Munchkin pushed back and away. Snake bite vulnerable. Boombot in his face, barely dealt with. Still alive and kicking the meteor. Rapid on the approach, rapid on the uptake. Still with knives on the other side. Fear might cost you if you are Sentinels, Karen. It's close, not quite concealed, only good for the one. There's that instant trade. But Meteor's way ahead of you. Look at this guy, already taking a position forward and tucked underneath. He's picked up a rifle, and this could be the playmaker. Real time, watching it play out. It's like a car crash in slow motion, but a tough oh, plant. Not anticipating it, labored in that 1v1, oh, 1v2. Sassy removed. Meteor, what a play! But they've got Spell, the Cypher yeah, up. They, they see that he's got that weapon. They want no piece of that smoke. Now a maneuver all the way over. Lakia out wide, trying to anchor this position. Follow through with the kills, and they do trade out those available plays. But Karon TP in the fight, in the mix, inside the smoke, trying he's to dominate everywhere. this one. But he only has the judge. What can one man do? Not enough. Pit. Lay it down for Sentinels. They're not leaving this one to chance. They need to clean it up now. But Munchkin, the IGL. Does he anticipate seconds forward position? He does not. So, 11th one now on the board for Sentinel. Yes. Now, holding the ground ensnared onto the site. And now from that high ground position, spam through, but tends not being baited with this one. Texture, how has he got that? Opened it up onto Zeltus. Rocket rebounds into the bag. Kills collected, and there's a 1v2 out of nowhere. Caron delivers. For the ground, and he might be able to gain Meteor. He's up close and personal now with this rifle in his hands. Does he anticipate this kind of oh, danger? It's returned, at least with the fire, but he's already gained two kills for his team. And now John QT wants to put a bit of a move on here still. Doesn't have a rifle to take that fight. Dodging, ducking, weaving. Finally, the run and gun in action. Sadow's up to 12 here. Paranoia's exchanged. Man, okay, the nade just dodged about with the TP. Engage. Texture. Matters into his own hands. He's just blitzed his way onto the site now, out through the back of it. Neural effect. Maybe some false information, but they are looking everywhere now. Smoke dropped down. Texture sticking. Half, half denied. Side, but it's all for naught. Texture, the lone player to stand against it. The onslaught sweeping him through all the bounds, and the sting is just not good for it, at least for that. Paranoia, though, has to be a follow up and it has to be a clean up, and there is there on time. Texture. Dropped in the process now with 30 seconds left. Take the chance now to extend that play in the series, to take it all the way to Icebox. Attack, forces it out. The first little wave of the util. All the flashes flying through, and so do the bullets. Lackier, a lot to overcome, a lot to do, and it's just impossible. Map 5 is on the cards. There is of their ways, Dizzy. Plays the groundwork now to try and take towards this B site. Man with the plant down, but it's an open angle here. It wasn't actually smoked off. 
that's not available for them. Still fights ready to be taken here. Sentinel's trying to get fast onto the approach and hot on their heels. Excelsis seeming like he might be aware of it. Drifting back and forth. What a shot straight to the cranium. Sassy defusing is already on half. Wingman. Sassy defusing. Wingman, hello, already on the half. But it might have just brought them that critical, crucial lifeline munchkin from the side. The attack from second is that uncertainty, but he's defended in time by John QT. Yeah, but the plant's still down now for Gen G. Getting into the post plant. Again, that weaponry isn't good, but Util is. Look at that. It's a coordinated effort. An absolutely filthy spray transfer. As Lackia takes you with the final blow. Oh, everybody through now with the thrash, setting it up from Sassy. It hasn't been dealt with here still. Wingman forward, Attainment not online, and they are really trying to flood in and through. But Genji, on the high ground positions on high, on high, tying the top of them over. Celsius, the difference maker. Roy when his team needed it. Two versus two, and guess what? Spike drop down, top nest. Wingman delivered that one like a. Juicy little delivery. Ooh. Speaking of delivery, Sassy out wide, but Celsius again. It would have to be the ace, and it's shut down in its tracks. Any direction, no command. It's a jiggle. Almost ant anticipating and expecting there to be that level of aggression. But still tense. He's in that top position with the operator. Still, it's a half clearance, half clearance, and punishment in place. Beautiful adaptation from Sen. Shoulders and updraft peak here from Zekin. So he's just clearing all the potential possible spots. But there is that blind spot. There is that blind spot. Munchkin eventually cleaned up. But oh, and his team already has his. It's going to be difficult for Zekin, I think. To really get a peek and he decide to invest the thrash. Oh my god, the knife the way! He just disrespects it and second is out of there on top of the ropes. He does not want to be hunted down and away, but there's entertainment. Where's the help? Dash through, Tent is there! Finally! Support arriving, but Lakia cleaning up that pesky player close towards yellow. Real read here for Sentinels. But again, have to maintain these advantages when they are handed to you. And if you lose that fight into mid, suddenly three versus three. Have a peek at things here. Out, open timing against him. Second, he loses his fight, and just like that, it's turned. Absolutely brutal for Sen. Great punishment on these peaks by Genji. Reaction test here for Zell. Sis, he doesn't even need it. Blind is a bad, but he still sprays him down, but he can't follow through with the second kill. One versus two, knife. Out, John QT, not anticipating it. That pace and tempo injected. Just bleach the eyeballs of second and tens looking to try to take the fight. Oh, you said the dizzy didn't get broken in time. No, what, what a <laughs> wall bang! Right through the wall. And tens still not going to be removed from this spot. He just sees it head poking over, but now has to respect it. Players all around him. Sassy, your turn to strike back if you can. What the iron is hot and hot it is. They drop him. No entry into the site to be claimed, but second. Let's give it up anyway. Now, the pixel angle holding for it. It's going to be that high low, and the people that dizzy on top of things running and gunning forward. Second, drop down. One kill found, but already the pit is down and out. Cover Seems like there's some hesitation. How do they want to try and fight towards this one? It looks like now the plan being committed. Still with that pit here with the ults all the way through. Now, Thrash to set it up, and it has cleared the way through. No! Timing! Timing! Caron! An absolute menace! In a 1v2, Sassy! So much to do. Mosh! Rebounds, Pit still alive and active, but it finally fades, and look at it. It's hectic, it's frantic, he's looking this way and that way. Wingman out! Can't collect the kill! Final round of the first half, and an important one at that. Wingman broken. That's the confirmation. Gen G has to follow through with the weaponry and the guns, and they're finding their own place, but it's only down to one. Texture, Soul Survivor breaks it down. Munchkin late to the party. And jumping around the nose at play. The space here, but Genji might seek to try and fight this one. Wingman is already in the fray. Through the back of the side here, broken down. Land out in the open, but behind the box, second finds his mark. Precision being the name of the game, but Genji not willing to give up even a scrap of territory. No map control and no gain really. Fall of Genji takes to, oh my goodness, two. But eventually brought down. Aaron, though. He took so much damage earlier on, they could just spam him out. 20 seconds roughly in the round. It all comes down to this for Sen and a pistol round. One to stand, one, two, fall! Sentinels are feeling it! Move on and it needs to be now for Sen. What is the game plan? Wall up, just about. They've Having got to push fuel, forwards. Push forwards and that's why Tex oh. is there. Underhanded, flash through, takes it. The fight straight two into Meteor on top of bridge. Genchino, surely the guns prevail. It's one versus two.
Uh, half on the defuse and even more. No kills to be claimed, no kills to be collected. Gen G narrowly avoiding him, but they need to keep these guns. That is Bosh pit flash through and out second. How the hell is he alive there? Thrash now finally being used, but it's offloaded all the volleys as well. Thrash broken, media wide texture. Trying to claim another one here, Beeman dropped down to 10 HP. 10, surely he falls, surely they go down. Half, out, Munchkin. Has he bought enough time? He's got too many targets to deal with, too much indeed. Is telling Gen G to keep three players A. And they have Lackier on pipes too. This is looking like the way that Sen wanted to defend. Here's yes, Ekken! Matters into his own hands. Leading the charge with the dash, it just collides right into the collision of 14. There needs to be the adjustment, it's not there! As they would allow Texture to play the clutch, settle in. Up to Lackier. He's called for the reinforcements, but this is it. It's a brutal scenario. They're picked to pieces. Just a little bit too late here, they can feel it now. Pressure mounting, Genji stacking, but they will topple, they will fall. The rifles are too good. 1,000 days and counting. Sentinels maintaining their relevancy. 30 seconds left. Teams laid on his shoulders. But how much can one man do? First one found, second one not there. It's over. Sent City here to play, here to stay. And history has been made! They've still made history, but that trophy is not for them. An unreal sight here. As every single member of the Sentinels hoist that trophy over their head. A long and difficult path for each and every one of those guys on that stage. What a run. A journey that stretches over a thousand days. Sentinels are finally back on top.